Slack attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Pure Warrior build. And this is this is going to be a challenge. Uh, first of all, forget about Fulgunther. We're going to Fulgunther later. What was I thinking? Fulgunther is going to be like one of the last things we do just before we get enchanting up to 100 and we make our final combat suit. Um, right now, the highest priority is to get out to Markarth and complete step two of the Book of Love quest so that we can continue to uh, work on the Agent of Mara bonus, which will give us 15% magic resistance. Plus, 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 plus. Um, there is a whole bunch of Dwarven metal, rather, Dwemer metal that we can gather in Markarth and also at this other place called Reachwind Eyrie, um, which is right near Orc Stronghold. And we could turn all that Dwemer metal into Dwarven metal ingots and power level smithing and use the Dwarven bows that we're going to make from that smithing to power level heavy armor. So this is a golden opportunity here. Lots to do in Markarth. This is what we're going to do next. The whole challenge is going to be able to do all this with a limited carry weight. And this took like several practice runs to get this done. I finally got it down and I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. It's just a daunting list of things to do in order to, to juggle everything um, just right so that we could do all this uh, within the confines of our limited carry weight. All right, so that's that. That's what we're gonna do. Um, let me just reload here because the survival clock was ticking while I had the map up there. All right, first things first. Mixer suit on. Everything we're doing is absolutely necessary here. Next. I want to go back and dump out as much as possible and take on some key ingredients. On in. Not to make a big batch of power potions. It's that's going to be very scams, instrumental in this attacks. big business run. Business slash combat run. Oh, I'm going to get that guy to shut up. He's like, you know. If it's worth it's just you. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Sure. What can I do for you? I would like you to shut the f up. Sure. My voice could use a rest. Thank you. Can't hear myself think up here. All right, now. Don't need the dead red. Don't need twenty six arrows. That we need. That we need. Need all that. Some of the stuff we don't need. Don't need the enchanting potions. Do need that. We don't need all these two-handed potions. We could probably get by with uh, 10. Maybe less, but let's go with 10 just to be sure. There we go. Need that, need that, need that. Of course we need all that. We're going to need lots of food. I'm going to dump all those ingredients and then take out some key ingredients. Um, there is something here that weighs something. Take that, put that in. Uh, don't need the goat hide. And there should be a saber cap pelt in here. Don't need that. And my notes say take on. Oh, yeah. This is something I kept, I kept forgetting in practice, friends. Take on at least five potatoes. And five leeks, just in case we run into some deer. To make some venison stew. I think I have some dwarven metal ingots here too. One, two, and some iron ore. And those two iron ingots. That's it. Let's go dump the ingredients. I'm just dumping everything. I'm just being systematic. You're going to see me take out some stuff that I just put back. Just being systematic. Alright. Blue butterfly wing. One. This is working off list here. Five blister word. One blue mountain flower. Ten butterfly. Seven canis root. <laughs> Pretty precise, like, yep, you'll see why. Uh, one creep cluster. One dragon's tongue. Make that two dragon's tongue. Two fly amanita. 
20 garlic. One giant's toe. All the juniper berries. Two more tapanella. One river baby. Half of the stuff I can't remember why I need it. Anyways, when I get down to that part, I'll tell you. <laughs> One saber cat tooth. 30 salt pile. And 10 wheat. That's it. Now, in case I forgot something, do a quick save here. Uh, let's go make some potions. I should be at 154, 156. Uh-oh. I got two pounds extra. What's going on here? This is critical. Give me a minute. I don't know where the two extra pounds is coming from. I hope the wheels don't fall off the wagon. Because of that, let's just go for it. Let's go make some key potions. Got something for just about everybody in here. Namely, Come some on, power potions. Potions to sell. Let's start with uh, Dragon's Tongue, Fly Medita, and more Chapanella. Check that out, 1400 bucks. Two of those, please. Next! Garlic, juniper berry, and salt pot. We're going to make more of those when we get out to Mark Hearth because we're going to collect a whole bunch of juniper berries. But for now, we can make eight. Next, I can help you with. blue you butterfly use. wing, blue mountain flower, and giant's toe. Baboom! 2600 bucks there. Next, how about a little... some health potions. Yep, butterfly wing and wheat. There we go, 82 points health. Make a whole bunch of those. For all ills. Make a smithing sick. potion. Creep cluster and river Betty. Aha! Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that could be useful. Four to five carry weight. There we go. And bring all this with us. All right, let's do this thing. We're off to Mark Karth. Okay, Allie. Get your hoof on. We're going on a big trip. Up and up, 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 up. <laughs> American Ninja Horse Warrior. <laughs> okay, going through a little the... obstacle course there. Mark Hearth, please. Climb Thank you very much. We'll be off. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. That's nice. Ever been to Mark Hearth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. Now arriving, Mark Hearth Stables. Mark Hearth Stables. There's Banny. Can we talk to him before he gets in? Banny, Banny, Banny. Phew. Yep, yeah, oh, here we go. Don't go in, don't go. Don't wait, wait, wait. Here we go. How long have you been training dogs? My family's been doing it for years. That's nice. Anything I can do for you? That reminds me. I was gonna deliver some dog food to the keep. Spiced beef. Their favorite. Mm, spiced beef. Oh, oh, I get to learn for that for you. Well, look at you. Thanks. <laughs> Take it to Voada. She handles all the dogs for the Jarl. Okay, no problem. We can do that. You could actually eat that spiced beef, you know, believe it or not. See, it actually give you, gives you, it's like a big meal. It gives you 380 hunger points. <laughs> Just in case, you know, you're wondering. Um, now, uh, my notes say wait seven hours. That's to kind of get in contact with Banning, but he, I caught him early. So um, we should eat some food because we're very hungry. 
eat the horker, and eat the rabbit hunch. I'm now satisfied. That's good. I think I'm going to wait seven hours anyway, anyways, because it's going to throw off everything. Everything is planned to the minute, even though I don't need to. There we go. It's good. Hungry again. As soon as we go in, Margaret's going to get murdered. Um, there's nothing we could do because we're playing as a warrior and we can't use any uh, destruction spells. And then usually I can't get him fast enough to catch him. So. Sorry, Margaret. Ain't that a shame? <laughs> uh, we're tired. Let's go right into Room of the Inn. Try to forget the... Uh, the tragic incident in the square. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of this you there? The like to rent a room, please? Sure thing. It's Thank you very much. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let's crash out in this beautiful stone bed. Three hours out to do it. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, now, um, I'm peckish. I'm just gonna like hang on to that as long as I can. Oh God. A woman attacked right on the streets. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Must have fallen out of your pocket. I'd better get going. Up to the Hag's Cure. Let's get a delivery from there, which is also going to Kelsimo. Wee! The Hag's Cure is. I have. The Hag's Cure. That's a unique name. I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Yeah, I can do that. Just say it. Thank you. Cure that little problem of his, now, eh? No you problem. Let me know if you need a cure or anything else. Okay, let's go up to Understone Keep quickly now. Before we get any hungrier. Okay, two things to talk to Kelselmo about. Uncle Kelselmo. What is it, nephew? What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You idiot. Uh huh. I apologize. Sorry, I. Yeah, there we go. Now, oh, uh, we've been sent by Mara. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. We came. Ah, you see, I've been. Somebody's backdooring me here. Hurry up here. You know, Feline. Yes, I do. Then you know what a beauty she is. The is that I, <laughs> I think your nephew's got the hots for you. <laughs> My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Oh my gosh. You seen this, people? <laughs> okay, focus, Slack, focus. Uh, you just need to have something to talk about. What's the trouble? I know Feline from the keep. But I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. Okay, whatever. It's not a simple matter. <laughs> I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it happen. Is there anyone else who knows what she likes? There is one. Ingvar. Ingvar. Go see him. Yes. Buy a poem. Got it. Thankfully, for please ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. That's nice. Okay, now we want to talk I to you about the excavation site. Persistent. I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuanzel. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. Yeah, yeah. If you deal Kill it, with Nimi, and you'll I'll be you forever indebted to us. We will. And my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Okay, that spider is good as dead. Good. Here we go. So we There's just did that to get site. access to uh, the excavation what? site. Oh, he gave God. us a key. We get a whole bunch of Dwemer metal here. Plus, we can take this Dwemer metal here um, as soon as we um, help Calcimo hook up with Feline. And then our disposition with him will will go up. For now, there are free Dwemer pieces in here. Let's not take them now. Let's kill the spiders first. And this is why I was saving my hunger so that we can take um, a beast stew, and we can have perpetual power attacks and cure our hunger at the same time. Okay, saddle up, lock and load. Take that potion, you might need it. And get the fear bow happening. Uh, but up.
Haha, <laughs> miss me. Oh shit. Gotta get away. No, no, get away. Go, run. Hurry up. Where's daddy and mommy? You're running defense for me. Eh? Okay, everybody's nice and feared up. Uh oh. One left. Yeah. Did I get him? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Who's your daddy? Huh? Just say it. Snack daddy, that's right. Okay. That's it. We can put on um the Black Guard's armor again, which will give us uh, more carry weight. Grab this guy here. Grab this guy here. And this guy here. Three Dwemer pieces. That's it. Leave the Frostbite Spider. Venom. Don't really need that. Let's go grab the pickaxe, which is always under the table. And mine's a minor. Okay. What are you doing, Slack? <laughs> I'm mining manually. <laughs> Enough of the bitching. <laughs> hey, see? Mining manually. We got a ruby. There we go. Okay. Slack can mine manually. Now watch here come the comments. Slack, how come you don't let the mining animation run? Or how about this? Hey Slack, did you know that if you just press the interact button, the guy will mine automatically? Got the Karanda Morvane. I don't want it. Don't need it. That's it. And we are done with the pickaxe. Out it goes. Did I just drop my Warhammer? No. Okay. We need that. That's it. Uh, we got everything here. I doubt there's anything here. Oh. Okay. I'm wrong. Now we can collect all the uh, the Dwemer metal in here. We should have enough spare carry weight to do this. One piece in there and six pieces in this area here. One, two, three, four, five, and six Rooney. That's it. Very good. Let's go turn it into Dwarven metal ingots. I just want to check something here. Oh, okay, now my carry weight is matching exactly according to my notes for some reason. I don't know how that is. Alright, so everything is on schedule and on target. Wonder bar. Let's get rid of those arrows. There we go. Here, let's take the shortcut down. Whee! <laughs> they don't like us talking to people when we work. Right. The heat from the Turn all this into dwarven metal ingots. If we can do this, uh, no, it's not available. I don't know why that is. I probably have an outstanding favorite quest. Um, next, let's just double check here. We should have thirty-eight 
38 dwarven metal ingots. That is correct. And 17 iron ingots. That is correct. Now, my notes say stash the warhammer in one of these barrels. Okay. This has to do with carry weight, so we can have enough uh, spare carry weight to get the rest of the Dwemer metal up in Calcimo's lab. Alright, now we have to go get... Um, I'm going to come back for that. It'll be safe. We're not going to abandon it for long. <laughs> Poor Margaret. Yeah, I always save her. Not this time, Margaret. You don't know Ingvar! About this house. Ingvar, dude. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Not bad. Could be bloodier. I heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'd rather not say. Ah, a secret admirer, eh? Don't worry. I won't tell a soul. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. You? The poems come <laughs> oh, in handy. Okay. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Alright. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Uh, okay, but just keep it above the equator, okay? Wonderful. Right. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just let Feline read it herself. Don't want you stumbling over the words and ruining my flow. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this? No, topic? thank you. We gave it the office. And back to Understone Keep. Get a move on there, Smiley. The hunger clock is ticking. You, who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? I am a traveler. I have questions. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne. But watch your words. Alright, first of all, I have a poem I'd like you to read. Pardon me? It's from Kelselmo. Please, read it. I'm not sure what this is all about. He's trying to get up the nerve to ask you out for a date. Just take the poem and read it. This is lovely. Kelselmo wrote this? Uh huh. About me? Hey, yeah, he does something. I never knew he had such feeling in him. Well, hey, he cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. Okay, one house lit up here. Here, take in this letter. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. We got it. Okay. Good. Next, you. We got your <coughs> magic potion. Thank you. Okay, my usual fee is 500 gold. Some gold for your assistance. Yeah, thank you. And your discretion. We're done discussing this for now. Rarix got a stallion potion. Ha ha ha. Okay. Yeah, he did say something about <coughs> discretion. Next, Vada, the spiced beef. As much as we'd like to eat it, let's deliver it and get dogs. another 500 gold for that. Here, this is for you. And the reason we're getting so much money for this is because Today, we're, um, the entire we're pretty high level. No That's it. So, now, back to Kelselmo. And whoop, wait. To give him Feline's poem. Which will complete the second leg of the Book of Love quest. Kelsamo, it's a go. She likes you. Things to study. What is it? Go get her. This is more than I could have hoped for. Yeah. Have you really done this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to see her. Please excuse me. Okay, go. What? Oh, goodbye. Got a boy. Did you put on your smellums? Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. You know what to say? Colleen. You are my density. <laughs> here to see the yard. You are my density. It's alright. There we go. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Igman. There you go. Okay, Igman. so good. Now we have raised our disposition with uh, Kalsomo. We can take all the Dwemer metal laying around his lab. It will no longer be marked as steel. 
<laughs> you are my density. Name that movie. This stuff here should be six of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got it all on board with room to spare. So that's that. That's all we want from him. Let me just check my notes here. Nope, that's it. Back to the smelter. What time is it? Yeah. It's getting kind of dark. Okay. I'm Boris's assistant. I help with the Uh oh. The game just stutters stuff. They better do a quick save here. Sometimes it crashes right after a stutter step. They don't like us talking to people when we work. Busy with the smelter. Okay, this should give us 59. Boy, yeah, just like all of this, like all of us. Get our Warhammer back. Thank you very much. And finally. Buy as much iron ore as Gorza can sell us. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Oh, oh I'm hungry. Let's make sure I got my business gear on. You say, do you? Like you ask if you got an axe here. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. That'll work. Should I sell her something? That's not on the list. Uh, you better not. <laughs> oh yeah, and the book. How about some the art? last scabbard of Akrish. I hope you brought that with you. What's wrong with the apprentice? Pass at this. Boy's an imperial. Oh, that explains it. showing how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the imperial smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Books. Wisdom of the old, I guess. How quaint. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish. But you bring it to me. You can't do. You know what? I just happen to have a copy of that on board. Here it is. Books. I don't know why the Imperials like these so much. I love her reaction. This should help the boy, though. Books. Will. Here. Let me show you how an orc learns to smith. There you go. She loves up smithing for you. Yeah, that reading shit. I don't know if those I'm Imperials seem to think it works. I hope it works. Uh, next on the list. Hag's Cure gets him Imp Stool and Glowing Mushroom. Not gonna take all the ingredients. Imp stool. You take that garlic. Um. No, no, girl. It's the pickled spider tongue and then the decayed tap root. Be yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> your cure turns into a poison. Wait, so what are you thinking? Memorized. How am I supposed to remember what goes where for every single herb? You will. Until then, you'll taste every potion you make before you sell it. Boy, There's you're so in for a treat. <laughs> I'll never get it all straight. Here we go. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. Taste every potion before you sell it. Um, make a paralysis poison. Make two paralysis poisons and a smithing potion. That's what the notes say. I better do it. Hold up here. Do you have your mixer suit on? I don't think I do slack. No, I don't think you do either. Yeah, get that stuff on there. There we go. Okay, now. Here we go. Make a couple of these. One, two. Next. Uh, blister wort and the glowing mushroom that we just picked up. We can make another smithing potion. Something's wrong here. It should be... I, I screwed up. I should have done a quick save. This is why I always do a quick save before every major crafting session. They are all on. What the heck? That should be 64%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. It's a survival mode. 
I'm tired. That's why. Beneficial potions are 20% less effective. That's why. Okay. Um, yeah, that's screwed. I thought I really screwed up there. Okay, that's it. That's okay. Um, all we have to do is get some sleep. And maybe have something to eat. That's on the agenda. Do we have food? We have food. Alright. And it's in the evening. While we're here, let's just turn those four iron ores into ingots. Can't talk. Malish will beat me if I stop working. And our bed should still be good. Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean room. Let's sleep till next morning. Please don't level up. Please don't. Very good. Very good. All right. We're hungry. We can take care of that. And I'm satisfied, that's great. Excellent. Let's get out to the orc stronghold. Dushnik Yal. Uh, whoops. Um, I should go get Gorza to mark that stronghold on the map just to make sure we're nice and friendly with him. Gorza. She's not at work yet. Here she is. I'm hungry. May your weapons be sharp. Wait a minute, you're about to do it. For your help? Where can I find an orc stronghold? Here we go. The most well known stronghold is Dushnik Yal. Here, I'll mark it down for you. Okay. That should make us friends with the stronghold, hopefully. One time I went out there and uh, I was under the impression that as long as you were an orc, you could just walk into any stronghold and that would pretty much be it. They would, you know, take one look at the tusks and uh, say, okay, he's smiley just like us. Welcome. But no. All right, so let's make our way out to Dushnik Yal. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.